All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is Dave Chappelle Learned the Care Bear Stare. All right, uh, let's go and check it out. <laughs> you, 24, you don't know shit. Oh. You don't know shit. You got to Google shit that I live through. See, this is why I lock motherfucking phones up. Seriously. Because the oh. young kids, you guys, look, you need to take a break from that. We all need to break just from that technology, just for a minute. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. You know, I'm from a different time, young man, a dark time to you. I'm from a time that I didn't even used to know who was on the phone until I answered the shit. <laughs> bro, I remember when Caller ID came out, bro. That was, that was crazy. What a time, what a time. Like when tragedy used to strike. I remember when I was 12 years old and the teacher wheeled the television set into the classroom. You know these things? No, that's. You, I think and that's she past turned it me, on bro. to one of three channels. Oh, yeah. And and she said, "Class, the space shuttle is taking off, and we're all gonna watch it take off." Man, that shit was going great for like three to five minutes. That's right. You, re you remember? Oh. It exploded. <laughs> right on television. That's not Everybody funny. Everybody on board. Dead. Immediately presumed dead. It was so bad, the teacher looked at all the kids and was like, <laughs> you can go home. Yeah, 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 right. It's a That's goddamn not funny. national tragedy. This was Cold War, man. Guys, now, oh my. All types of like suing would be done. I'm almost positive. Like grief counseling, uh, like trigger warnings would have to be added to like every show or or, or anything that spoke about it. The Russians were laughing at us. My point is, for a guy your age wouldn't even know the pain because in your generation, it's like the space shuttle blows up every fucking day. How right. can you care about anything when you know every goddamn thing? Well, I'm yeah. getting over one cop. Sh and then another one happens, and then another one happens, and another one happens. I'm crying about Paris, and then Brussels happens. I can't keep track of all this shit. So you just give the fuck up. That's the hallmark of your generation. And that's okay. fucked up because your generation lives in the most difficult time in human history. The most this difficult is time. The age of spin. The Go age ahead. where nobody knows what the fuck they're even looking at. Did you know that Planned Parenthood was for a it's for people that don't plan things out at all. That's right. So a guy your age doesn't really know how he feels. Are you okay. pro-choice? Are you anti-consequences? What does it all really mean? Anti-consequences? It's easier not to care for you. But for us, right. we were trained to care. We were raised that way. I used to watch a fucking cartoon when I was growing up called Care Bears. Why? Oh, one of the three channels. It was about okay. a fucking group of teddy bear people. They okay. were like teddy bears, but they were like people. And they were all different colors. And they all just walked around caring. They cared about each other and everything else. That's a good thing though, no? <laughs> they all had different designs on their stomachs and the designs told you something about what they might be like inside. <laughs> very, very loving group of beings. And when shit got real bad, as nice as those teddy bears were, they didn't get mean faces. They right. got determined. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they saying, Come on, guys. It's time for the care bear stare. Stare, right. Remember that shit? It was super intense. And them little teddy bears with lock arms and stare at the problem. And I'm not even bullshitting. It'll go Actual away. Actual love would shoot out of their chest. Right, right. The problem would go away instantly, though. Like, I remember the and show. And spell anything that was up. Growing up. And when we grew up, we wanted to be like those babies. Nah, bro, that wasn't it. We got our hearts broken. So we oh. found out that life wasn't going to let us do that. And that it's impossible to shoot love out of your chest. <laughs> However, I have shot love onto somebody's chest before. <laughs> it 
I do it all the time. All the, the time. Next best thing. Right. <laughs> Bro, the, listen, this show, The Care Bears, um, it was on TV. I think it was like, I was kind of just like going out of like, uh, maybe it was going out of fashion when I was growing up. But I do remember it like occasionally like being on TV. It was a thing, but it wasn't like um, like the main thing that you had to watch. Because again, I think you know, I had we had much, many more channels than three channels, maybe 17 or 20 or something minuscule <laughs> like that, guys. I definitely remember uh, you know, stumbling upon it. And yeah, definitely. They were a group of bears who who thought they could change the world with love. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's super idealist. It would be nice if that was a thing, potentially, right? But it the, the shooting love out of the chest thing, um, you know, looking back at it, it's super cringe. A little bit, guys. Um, but all right, listen, <laughs> let me know in the comments of the next thing from Dave Chappelle uh, that we should be checking out, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? And listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.